That's a reminder. I mean, the lay people who come here, you know, I don't want them for at least for the first two weeks not to fast. Yeah, they should get into the rhythm of you know what is what is going on in the monastery, and then after two weeks, I mean, they can fast as much as they want. Yeah, I understand too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you need to know, you know, the rhythm of the monastery before you can start fasting. Yeah, you come and go and come and go and come and go. No, I mean, two weeks in a row, yeah? I mean, you, you were fasting, you know, then you were coming and then you were fasting. And then, I mean, if, if you want, really want to fast and want to see, you know, the, the purpose of fasting, you know, it's just to lighten the body and to lighten the chitta, then, then you fast for, for seven days, yeah? Not hope. Not that too soon. What? What other health reasons that I did not Other reasons? Other health reasons that I did not eat. What is health? I mean, we are here, you know, for, for, for the health of the chitta. Huh? Not for the health of the body. We use the body, you know, to, you know, to perfect the health of the chitta. <laughs> then you don't understand, you know, the uh, kamatan, you know, you don't understand the forest of chitta. Uh, Kuba David. Okay. Come come a little bit closer. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean your ears are not as good anymore. <laughs> My ears start to fail as well. Yeah. So <laughs> mine have failed a long time ago. Oh. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I so many questions, but the one that comes to my mind is I was listening on the YouTube to a monk from uh, uh, Australia. And he was talking about what is Nippon. Yeah. And he said it's extinguishment. I guess when the flame goes out. Yeah. And there's, I see that means there's nothing. And I thought, how is that different than just dying and being nowhere? <laughs> it is different. You have to look, you know, I mean, yes, they, they say it's just, no, it is extinguishment of, of the fire. Yeah, <clears throat> of the of the desire. Okay. Yeah, you don't want anything anymore. Okay. Yeah. Huh? And with the end of desire, I mean, there is there's the end of dukkha, the of dissatisfaction. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and the Lord Buddha said about it. You know, he said, you know, you cannot really describe it, but he said, neither am I, nor am I not. Okay. So, I mean, it's not just like, I mean, dying, you know, people, you know, think, you know, dying is just, you know, fast, you know, dying is, you know, just changing the country. Right. Yeah. We just go into another realm. Another realm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that is the di dying. But Nipa is not going into another realm. It's going into eternity. Eternity. Yeah. And eternity is where where the where, where the past and the future is in the same at the same place. Okay, it's kind of like how if you travel at the speed of light, time in. The yeah, there's there's no time, there's no space. You know, I mean, so it is timeless. Huh? Okay, <clears throat> but uh, if you want, if you really want to have a preview of it, you know, I mean. People can have a preview of it, of Nibbana, what it is like. Yeah. But it is not easy, you know, I and mean, you really have to concentrate, you know, onto one point, you know, and always bring your mind back mm -hmm. until the subject and object merges into one point. Okay. Yeah. In meditation. Yeah, in meditation. Yeah. And then you go into the preview of Nibbana. It right. is very similar to Nibbana, but it's not the same thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Because then you come out, you know, and then you see how this whole world of delusion, like the Lord Buddha described, yeah. you know, is created, yeah? yeah, in your mind, in your five khandas, in your five groups, you know, because that's all, you know, it, it's all an illusion, though it seems to be very real. Back to 
<laughs> so that is that is the that is nibbana. Yeah, I mean, you don't disappear, but you don't. You are not the same as you are here. Now. I've heard of one point described, but I didn't know how to really find it. What? I've heard it described at one point. I've heard the meditation. I've never really achieved that in any way. Yeah, people can That's achieve it, you know. Point. Yeah. I mean, if they're really interested, you know. <clears throat> and, you know, what happens if subject and object, I mean, the subject, yeah. <clears throat> the subject is, you know, the one who knows, you know, and the object that is the one of, you know, the object observed, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it is a bread or it's a Buddha, you know. When when these merge together, you know, you cannot say anything anymore because our whole language is based on duality. Yeah. Yeah. So you get rid of all thoughts or the thoughts have gone long, long, long. Yeah. 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 I mean even the and then the body disappears, you know, and, wow. and in the end you know how the whole universe disappears. Yeah? There's no universe. Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that, that clears that up because she always asks me about the... <coughs> yeah, yeah, because people don't know. Yeah. Huh? I mean, they have not experienced it, you know, so but they they can only take the scripts what the Lord Buddha said about it. Huh? Yeah. yeah, and then they explain it like this. Huh? But people who have actually, you know, experienced, you know, this one-pointedness, I mean, they know what it is. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The eternalism would not be suffering, would it not? No. No. Yeah. There's no more desire. No more desire, okay. And if there's no more desire, there is no more dukkha, there's no more suffering, there's not nothing. That's how and that is what, what he meant with, you know, the fire of dukkha. Okay. The fire of dukkha is extinguished. It's not different than, say, heaven where you got eternity yeah, to heaven, yourself, but it's weird. Even if you ask the people in heaven if they still have dukkha, they still have dukkha. Well, how do you escape it by going to heaven? You're still you. Yeah, you still want things, yeah, and you're still dissatisfied with other things. Okay, it makes perfect sense. But it is, you know, I mean, it is like you you live in a paradise island, you know, and you know you have everything, but you still have to cut because you're dissatisfied with the weather or you're dissatisfied with the sea or you know whatever. Having everything is boring, yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. And boredom is also to go. Boredom is good that too. Yeah. Everything is good that apparently. Yeah. Well, good things. Good things, you know, I mean, there can be sukkha, you know, if you have a dream, you know, that you want to fulfill, I mean, for, for a moment, you know, for a while, you know, there's sukkha, there's happiness, yeah? yeah? I mean, if you fulfill your dream of, uh, of building a house, you know, and then you see it, ah, uh, and yeah, you, you have uh, happiness for a moment, yeah? But the happiness goes very well, yeah? It goes away. Just like Dukkha also goes away. Yeah? I mean, you met your wife, you were very happy. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. And then over time, you know, it disappears. <laughs> well, then you have your downtime. You and then it comes up a little bit, you know, except that is the way of the world. Yeah. That's what we're working through, you know, the end of life, how we evolve that. Yeah, I mean, meditation is the, is the, is the basic principle of this. Yeah, yeah? that's what I was told. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And then, you know, once you can concentrate your mind, yeah, then the important thing is, you know, you, you have to cut the fetters, you know, that bind you to the realm of birth and death. Yeah. yeah? yeah? And that you do with investigation. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Investigation, the most important thing is this body. The what? The body. Oh, the body, okay. We are attached to this body. We care about this body. We work for this body, you know. Yeah. And we worry about this body, yeah? We worry about old age, we worry about sickness, yeah? We worry about, you know, COVID, you know, and things like that. Yeah? There's nothing to worry about it. The body is a, yeah, it's a phenomenon, yeah? <clears throat> it arises, it's born, and it, you know, gets sick, it gets old, and it dies, yeah? Just like everything else. Our thoughts arise and cease, yeah? <clears throat> Memories arise and cease, and sometimes, most of the time, we don't even have control of what arises and ceases, yeah? Huh? No. So it is anatta, that's what the Lord Buddha said, there are three principles. Dukkha, anicca, impermanence, yeah, arise, cease, yeah, and anatta, whatever, whatever you can experience, cannot be me, cannot be myself, it's not me, it's not myself, yeah, because there's somebody who knows that something has arisen. That's weird, that's weird. Yeah, we forget this, yeah. because we think we are the feelings, yeah? 
But you know, you know, I mean, we are not the feelings because we cannot change the feelings to our own wish. Yeah. Huh? If you have an unhappy feeling, we, we, we want to change it to a happy feeling, we cannot. We cannot. Yeah? So it's not us, it's not ours. It doesn't belong to us, yeah? I mean, if you have a shirt and you don't like the color, you just pick up a new one. Okay. Yeah? That, is, that belongs to you. That, yeah? You just have to know that it's an unhappy feeling? Yeah. Just know there's a, there's a feeling, there's an unhappy feeling, you know, and then you go back to your Buddha or breath. Oh, okay. And then it passes away. And it passes away, you see, you know, I mean, huh? it's just like clouds, you know. They come, you know, sometimes white clouds, you know, we're happy, you know, and sometimes dark clouds, we're unhappy. You know? okay. So? <laughs> yeah. That's for me. It's so clarifying when you when you hear somebody speak and I understand it. I read it and I watch it on the tube and I get lost. What are they talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you, have, you have to talk to somebody who has actually experienced it. Yeah. yeah. Who knows, you know, who knows what he's talking about because I mean he has experienced it. Eh? Yeah. If you just read, you know, then then you think and then you uh you you, you assume and then you you doubt and then, yeah. yeah, that's not the same. Once once you experience it, you know, you know. Yeah, okay. And then can the whole world can come and say it's wrong and, and you know it's there, right? Yeah. <laughs> so when you see things like you get angry about stuff, that's where your meditation will help you to see it before it arises? Yeah, you, you see it and then you stop it with Buddha, yeah? Okay, so you go right to that if you get angry about something. You you get angry, you feel, you know, the feeling. Eh? You know, mo most of the time, you know, it is an emotion that rises up, yeah? yeah. But emotion is like an avalanche. Uh, like a what? Avalanche? Oh, avalanche, okay, yes. Yeah, yeah we you pronounce it. Yeah, no. <laughs> American. Yeah, we can't speak <laughs> it properly. <laughs> they have everything in common except the language. <laughs> ah, you put a stone in the snow, you know, it rolls down, and with each turn it takes on snow. And that is, it's called an emotion. A feeling is just a pure feeling, yeah? Okay. A memory co normally comes attached with a feeling, yeah? <clears throat> and then, you know, there's a feeling, and there's a memory, and there's a thought, and there's attachment. So the memory, the, the memory creates another thought, yeah? With a similar feeling, so the feeling adds up, you know? Yeah. Just like the snow adds up, you know, on the stone, you know, when it rolls down. Yeah. Okay. And with each thought, with each memory, you know, I mean, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger until you feel it. Okay. <laughs> so if somebody does something that you don't like, then you go back and create. Something happens. Don't something say happens. somebody, it Did doesn't it, do it. anything. Yeah? yeah. Something happens. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have even to do, you know, it, it has nothing to do with this person. Because you know, you know from your from your days as soldiers, you know. I mean, when when you were happy, you know, this the same person did something, you know, it didn't annoy you. But the next day you were unhappy and it annoys you. Okay, yeah. So it has nothing to do with what he does. Yeah, it has something to do with you. Okay, you create it, the unhappiness, and then you go to your memories and, and then you build it. project it onto somebody else. Okay. Yeah. The best way to start that is go right into the Buddha. That is going right into the Buddha, and then later, you know, once our samadhi is stable, mm -hmm. then we investigate, you know, what is what. Okay. Yeah. And that is the body, because in the body there is this greed and hatred. Everything that is form of greed, form of desire, form of wanting, mm -hmm. or form of dislike, you know, form of life and dislike, mm -hmm. is connected to this body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So that's why we have to take the body apart and see what, for what it is. Yeah? yeah. I mean, it's a robot. It's a biological robot. You know. Yeah. Huh? It's just like you, you hop in your car. You know, the car doesn't know anything, but you know everything about the car. Yeah. yeah. It's the same thing with the body. We hop into this body. Yeah. The cheetah hops into this body. Yeah. Just like some of the sci-fi movies. You know. I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They hop into the body and then they control this body. Yeah? But because we are born in the body and we die in the body, we believe we are the body. Yeah. And that's where we have to take out the separation. See, there's a body, yeah? but it's not me. 
Who knows, you know, who knows this is an arm? The arm doesn't you know it's an arm. Yeah. If the electric body's gone, but you're still there. Yeah, the chitta is still there. Chitta is yeah. like your It's mind. just that, it's, yeah. Well, mind, it, it is not only mind, it is also heart, you know, I mean the emotional oh, part, okay. the rational part, but also all the kilesa, all the greed, all the hatred, all the delusion is in there, in the chitta. And that will be what is reborn if you... Yes. All well, that. what actually, actually, what is reborn is just karma. Oh, it is the karma. Yeah. And, you know, the chitta attaches to the karma, and that's why we think, you know, oh, we yeah. are reborn. We are reborn. Yeah. But actually, what is, you know, reborn is just karma. Okay, so yeah. it's not actually... But as long as we attach to these things, you know, I mean, we are, you know, we are with it, you know, yeah. and create more karma. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, hardest part is... I mean, you have a wife. Yeah. She's angry at me for things I do. Yeah. And then it's hard for me not to fight back. You just might. I mean, the ties have a great way. No? Yeah. I mean, if somebody gets angry at them, they smile. <laughs> I, I, I tried that because, yeah, no, the other doesn't work. Well, if you, if you smile because your heart is at peace, yeah. then it works. Okay. If you smile because you, Oh, then it doesn't work. Okay. I've been working on that and it's working much better. That's so I know I used to fight her all the time and that's very difficult. Of course. We are Westerners. Yeah, of course. Well, I'm in charge. <laughs> we, are, we are Westerners and you know, and the Westerners display their anger and and, and, and their grief, you know, very openly. Yeah? yeah. The Thais not. The ties that the anger grows inside and you and they still smile and you don't see anything, you know, until they explode. That's what I love about that thing. Oh, listen to me. Ah, ja. Golomboko Henry om ma, om man kan tage det, man man pege nej, om man bliver fyldt, bliver fejl nej, går hen jo, ja. Går hen dig, nu var man jo til din nær lær. Det er nok også jo der, hvor man får et stort spræk. Ja, oder jeg er jo godt. Men at lue du er en, når man tager lue kun en. Ja? Ja? It's the same, it's the same mixture, you know. If you know yourself, you know everybody. Okay, ja. Ja? Ja, tag på vej, jeg er det du. Nu kan du, du er pej nej. Det kun rå, men du er pej, men det er pej nok, ja? Du er mange kun en, ja? Og bare de går vel af mange kun en, ja? Nu går du hen, du er en. When, when we look at other people, we see ourselves. Yeah. And that's why we get angry. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah, it's very good. I mean, you see it in politics, you know, the U.S. accuses oh. every, every country of what they yeah, are self-doing. Yeah. <laughs> the world can be very Could discouraging. Be. Yeah, but we don't look at the world, we look at ourselves. And ourselves, yeah. Oh, we can free ourselves, but we cannot free other people. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you can help your environment by freeing yourself, exactly. and that will also, you know, infect other people. Okay. Yeah. That's why, you know, great archons, you know, always, you know, always have, have a, you know, spiritual, you know, spiritual energy around them. Yeah. And, you know, that's what attracts people. And that's why they're interest, getting interested in Buddhism and getting interested in the preaching, in the teaching. Well, I didn't know we were coming here today. <laughs> and I, believe it or not, heard you on the YouTube. And I thought, he's different. And I thought, maybe someday I might go here. Okay. And I didn't even know I was coming here. They said we're going to a temple. I didn't know. <laughs> That's good, yeah. yeah. I saw when, when you're in Korat and, and if you have some business around here, I know, come, come for a day or come for, you know, two days, you know. Uh, well, she wanted me to ask this question. She said, if I wanted to become a monk, what I have to learn? This is, this is the least important. <laughs> okay, answers that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... The, the only thing that you have to learn before you become a monk is, you know, I mean, the ordination chant, yeah? Okay. Otherwise, otherwise, 
Yeah. Why the riff didn't matter. มันมาครับใครมาครับพวกอ๋ออ๋อเนี่ยจอดอยู่ที่ <coughs> <coughs> ที่ขอรับอืมโอ้โหนี่ก็มีไปวัดไหนตะกันไหนมาอยู่วัดทองวัดต้อยธรรมเทศดิสิทธิ์ทะลุกองลูกกรรมหาบัวสักคนละครไม่เคยได้ยินเหรอว่าจอยธรรมเทศดีเหรออ่านี่ชื่อเสียงแล้วหลวงปู่เป็นก็มีช
นี่ดูโยงแล้วเธอชอบนี่เออเออเออนี่ดูจริงนะฮะลุงพอก็ก็ดูจริงเหมือนกันนะเมื่อเห็นคนคนไม่ดีเนาะดูจริงนี่อาจารย์อาจารย์ What 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 is your name? Jim. Jim. Yeah. So so come come uh yeah. Rip rip up ma. What what is it in English? Come back. Come back soon. Come back soon. See you soon.